everybody. Welcome back to Lyrical Resonance, where we believe that where words fail, music speaks. I'm excited today checking out uh, a song called Fragment by the band Firebrand. Never really heard of them. They reached out after I posted um, my reaction to David Patacone's song Indestructible. You can check that out here. And they asked me if I would get into this song here called Fragment. So that's what we're doing. All I know about them is what I could find on their Facebook and that uh, they define themselves as electro metal, uh, which is just electronic metal, obviously. Uh, but they say they're electronic metal for fighting life's hardest battles, which I think sounds uh, really cool. So I'm not going to waste much more time. Before we jump in, make sure you hit that subscribe button because where words fail, music speaks, and we're going to explore what it has to say. So let's listen close. pretty good start so far i appreciate the the video quality here it's it's good um it, it kind of has a nostalgic kind of fuse tv kind of feel to it and i i can dig that um music's not terrible i would never say it's terrible it's it's good um it's not at all what i was expecting when i heard electronic metal um, there's actually quite a bit more um, more guitar than what I expected to hear anyway. And the drums are not just a typical 4-4 four, four kick that that's all you get, uh, which I can appreciate that a lot. I'll dive into the lyrics a little bit later. Um, so far though, not a bad not a bad start to the song. Let's keep going. Young and the old Thought that there's a cure for the cracks in their souls God bless you with this natural thing Go and sing to whatever somebody else sings But this is my song This is my life This is my dream This is my very own fragment of eternity I'm becoming everything That I was designed to be This is my life This is my dream This is my very own Stage if I want to You can break, I'm a critic if you want to Watch your 
right, so let's let's talk about it. Um, right away, I just I'm gonna I'm gonna get this out of the way right away. I'm gonna say it and and move on. Um, I think that is a song I would have to let grow on me. Uh, it's I'm not gonna go out and say it's my favorite. Um, it was good hit the right notes um i i feel like and, and maybe it's I, i'm this is still a pretty uh i'm gonna assume pretty underground band not super well known i mean but just looking at it i know that they're probably new not uh maybe not been around a while um so give it time uh if they're new to the whole scene new to the new to all this give it time like I said, not going to be my favorite song. It was good. Definitely, uh, you can hear what they're going for, and it sounds, what they're going for, in my mind, sounds really good. You know, one band that I think really has done a decent job of blending electronic elements into their rock elements is the band Starset. And these guys are trying to blend electronic elements into metal, and I would... I would almost encourage them to, if they don't already, pay a lot of attention to what Jason Wisdom does with Death Therapy. Uh, Death Therapy is very, very uh, different industrial, like groove rock, I guess, kind of is what he, uh, how Jason Wisdom would describe his music with Death Therapy. Um, and and I, like I said, I like this. It sounded cool. Um, I think the the vocals were fantastic. Uh, Josiah, really, really good vocally, man. That was really good. Your screams are dynamite, dude. Your your clean vocals are good. Uh, just it sounds it sounds good from a vocal standpoint. Even the guitars, they weren't bad. Uh, drums were were good. It just to me, it seemed like it lacked maybe cohesion. I don't know if that's quite the right word. Um, but again, not bad. Like it was a good, good song. So let's let's look at look at this from a lyrical aspect. All right. So from a lyrical standpoint, I really like what they're saying in this song. This is who they were created to be. Um, you know, this is this is what they live for. It's their life. It's their dream. And I really like this is my very own fragment of eternity. Coming from a, a Christian perspective realizing that not everybody's gonna not everybody who watches this is gonna be a Christian or even agree with my faith that's totally okay if you don't um, but coming from a Christian perspective this is my very own fragment of eternity is a really really excellent way of taking what you were created for and explaining it in, in terms of eternity our lifespan is just a fragment of it and and a small fragment at that and so when we do the thing we were created for when we put ourselves into what god created us for and the purpose he created us for this is the result it's where we're doing what we believe we're supposed to do and it doesn't matter who says what about it we're still going to do what god has called us to do and this is so important because there are so many people who are afraid to take a step out and put themselves out there and say i'm going to take that step even though even if it scares me i'm going to take this step and so this was really cool i really like that with the chorus um one thing that made me kind of chuckle is he says God bless you if it's not your thing. Go listen to whatever somebody else sings. And I can get that, man. Like, I listen to a lot of music, a lot of different music, um, anywhere from, like, Frank Sinatra to uh, Impending Doom and Heavier. And so it's, I have a pretty wide range of musical influence and, and whatnot. But I get it, man. Not everybody's going to like what we do, and, and that's okay. You know, if you don't like what I do, that's fine. But just because it's not your thing, don't criticize. You know, I mean, people are people are going to criticize. Let me let me get that out of the way. I know people are going to criticize. It's part of life, man. People aren't always going to like what we do, and that's cool. But if you don't like what somebody else is doing, you don't have to watch it. 
and you don't have to listen to it. You don't have to be a part of it. You can just let them do what they're doing and go find something you do like. You know, that's that's something that that is really interesting that we do where we, here I am doing a reaction video offering my opinion and for what nobody why should my opinion mean anything you know what I mean like we put a lot of weight on people's opinions and maybe more weight than we should and so I like that if you know if, if this isn't your thing that's cool man I'm still gonna I'm still gonna wish for your best go find the thing that you do like um and then that bridge where it's, it got really heavy um, which was my favorite part of that song was that bridge how heavy that got that was really cool but he says i'll put god in my lyrics if i want to turn the amps to 11 if i want to make the songs dynamic if i want to share my faith from the stage if you want to you can become a critic if you want to waste your breath trying to change me if you want to that was just really cool um i really like the i'm gonna put god in my lyrics I'm going to share my faith. Um, you can do what you want. I'm going to do what I believe I was called to do. And what I was called to do was make music and share it with people. And that's really cool that he's, that he's doing that and he's bold about it. You know, I believe that this is a, a global message. It, uh, you know, the, the message of the gospel and the message of Christ is not something that I should keep to myself. Um, if, I, if I truly believed that there was uh, a freedom from... The chaos and pain of the world and i believe that there was a savior who loved people enough to die for them and that if they don't know him that they would be spending eternity away from him if i knew that and i believe that to be true wouldn't i share that with somebody wouldn't i want people to know that and so i'm gonna put god in my videos if i want to you know like i said this was this was good um i think there's definitely room for improvement in the production um definitely uh it's not bad. Like I said, you, you could hear it all. I think uh, the drum production, uh, personally, as somebody who catches the drums more than just about anything else, uh, I think the drums needed some work as far as, especially the snare. Um, but again, that's just me. Um, I think that having a little bit more fine tuning of the production would have helped to just kind of make everything sound more cohesive and together um and again coming from a guy who doesn't have any production experience it's just what i hear um but it wasn't a bad song i definitely would listen to it again um i'm gonna try and find it everywhere i can and add it to my playlists and stuff because it was it was good like it's a song i wouldn't skip if it came on um i enjoyed it if I'm going to rate this song on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being terrible, 10 being amazing, I'll be really honest, I'm probably only going to give it a 5. Um, not because I didn't like it. Um, it's just it's just kind of, for me, a song that's there. Again, not a song I would skip if it came on. Yeah, it was good. You know, I, I always kind of feel bad like when I give it a rating. If I don't give it a really high score, I'm like, I don't want to upset anybody. Um, but that that's... You know, that's, that's just where I'm at with it. It's It was good. I can definitely hear what they're trying to do and think there could be a lot of room for improvement in what they are, are already doing. And I'm excited to see what they do. I'm excited to see what else they put out, what else they have, because this, was, this wasn't bad. Um, but anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there at a five. Uh, like said, trying, to, trying to make sure that people understand I didn't. Five is not for me bad you get below a five then i think it's bad but a five that's that's pretty decent you know we always joke about people who bat 500 that's a really dang good average five out of ten is pretty dang good so anyway there you go that's my that's my take on this song but you know what you gotta do let me know in the comments what did you think was it a one or was it a 10 i'm interested to hear from you your thoughts on it uh let me know what you thought of the lyrics too because i liked it i had a good time listening to it um I'm going to put the link to this video in the description below, as well as a link to their Facebook page and their YouTube channel, because Firebrand, man, I liked it. I'm excited to see what more you guys have. I'm excited to to watch you as you grow and you and you start rolling on this musical journey, dude. It's, it's going to be fun. Anyway, 
that's going to do it for us in this video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what I had to say about this, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to our channel at Lyrical Resonance. Because where words fail, music speaks, and we're going to be here to continue listening to what the music has to say. But until our next video, as always, stay safe and be blessed. We'll see you soon.